Hey, what's up guys? Nils here and welcome back to another video. So today we're doing something else. We are playing Weapon Fighting Simulator. It is a sort of a new game. It's about a week old, but uh, it looks pretty cool. So the game has a lot of things in common with anime fighters. It looks a lot similar, but uh, as you can tell by the name, instead of having anime fighters, we have uh, weapons instead. So as you can see here, they have like four weapons flying around me. So basically the game is exactly the same. You have to kill a whole bunch of stuff. Here we have these piles and they drop these uh, spirit stones. So if you look at the right side of the screen right now, we have two currencies in this game. We have the spirit stones that drop uh, most commonly from stuff that you kill or damage. And then you also have this uh, key, which I will go a little bit more in depth later on what it's used for. Now, besides your normal weapons, just damaging stuff, you also have uh, three abilities if you're free to play. I believe uh, if you have uh, the game pass, it's six. And there you see. So we just got an upgrade for our ability, which I will talk about in just a little bit. So you also have these abilities that you can put on your bars and the auto cast, which is also pretty cool. So you don't have to click all the time. And that's basically how you do damage and kill stuff. Now, since you just saw this, I'm going to go a little bit and talk about uh, the spells a little bit more in depth. So if you click this book right here on the panel, so starting off, we have this uh, the Wind Mastery, Shadow and Fire. So we have these three elements and there you have these abilities, right? So you get these abilities by killing stuff like uh, outside here in the world and by looting chest bosses, which we are going to go a little bit more in depth later into the video. And so you can equip these they do damage and obviously the better the rarity the more the damage now they have different scalings like you see this one is 30 seconds that's nearly 29k this one is like half the damage half the cooldown so kind of balances out in terms of damage and as you can see right here on the bottom it says if you get every spell to level six you increase your spell damage by 20 percent so this is something that you can work towards later on so you just have to kill stuff until you level up your spells so basically when you loot a spell twice that is one level so you have to level i guess you have to loot it 12 times to get it to level six and once you get it to level six you can increase the max level of spells it costs key the second currency that is a little bit rarer than uh, the spirit stones and it increases your max level but as you can see it has a catch so it doesn't always succeed so you cannot just uh, infinitely scale so you have like success rate and that's kind of how it works but uh, the scaling is infinite from what i've been told and it just increases by one percent every time which is honestly not the best in reality but uh, it is how it is so we also have these passives that you open later so as you can see here on the newbie key you only have spells but once you advance here to junior key you also have passives so right now i have this equipped so thunder master it's a common but it's very good increases your spell damage i have this one this is a passive as well so spirit stones gained and lastly another spirit stone gain passive there's a whole bunch of passives and as you can see here on this junior key category the second category you have basically much, much better spells. You have epics, legendaries, and you also have mythicals. Now, mythicals, I assume that they're super, super rare to get, but they are completely bonkers. See, this one does 5 million damage, which is absolutely crazy to think of. And here you have like a mythical passive, which increases your weapon damage by 14%, which is a lot. And you see here, like, besides having six spells right here instead of four, Leveling them will be much, much harder. And once you level them all to level six, you get 40% damage increase here, as opposed to 20 that used to be on the first one. Now, the next thing that uh, ties into these uh, spells here, as you can see here on the right side, we have this bar, which uh, slowly fills up the more you do damage and says junior key three. So you're gonna start off newbie key one, basically. And every time you upgrade your inner soul, that's what it's called here, your inner soul, it increases your maximum health excuse me, your spell damage and your weapon damage. And once you get to junior key, you can equip junior key spells. So basically all you have to do is you have to do damage to fill up this bar and then you spend key, which is a little bit harder to grind than a uh, spirit stones as I've mentioned prior. And you are basically good to go. So this is gonna take a little bit of time to do, but it's definitely 
the strongest probably player power gain besides the weapons. Now, let me just go ahead here and teleport to another world so I can just show you guys. So in order to farm key, because it's the hardest currency to farm, you have a whole bunch of key chests scattered around the map. It's usually two of them. There you go, you see here. So you have all of these normal units and then you have these chests right here. Now these chests, here key chests, they drop exclusively keys. So you have to farm these in order to stock up on key. And you also have here your weapons panel. This is what I have right now. I have these legendary weapons. And leveling these weapons works exactly the same way, just like in Anime Fighters. You fuse other weapons that you open into these weapons. And that's kind of how the whole thing works. We also have this achievement panel right here. I have a couple of statistics here. And you see here, this is like a tasks to do. So you get rewards. It's exactly like Anime Fighters, the same philosophy. Now, I want to go here a little bit on this uh, chest or other inventory item inventory now you have these keys right here these boss keys which we're gonna go a little bit in depth in just a minute so you get these boss keys by randomly killing stuff there is a chance to drop and this is basically where you hatch weapons as well so you guys can see so let me just go ahead to teleport it real quick so once you get over to the second world bamboo forest so once you are done here with all of your quests which you can pick here from the bounty board so the bounty board is going to give you a whole bunch of quests, basically kill 25 of um, every single mob here and each of the quests gives you money or spirit stones rather. So in order to advance to the next portal, you have to kill a boss. So normally this portal should be locked here with chains and you have to use either one of these two puddles right here or teleports. And you see when you enter, you teleport into a room and there is a boss. Now these bosses are soluble, that being said you have to be really strong. And yeah, this is a level 2 boss, so it was pretty easy. So once you kill it, you see right here, there is the chest. So this chest right here, if I open it, as you can see, I have 100% chance to get obviously a whole bunch of key. And then I have 3% chance to get one of these spells. Now this is only a level 2 chest, so it was just a rare spell, but you get the idea. So if you pay attention here, it says required keys that will be reset every day. So how it basically works is this chest is going to require just one key to open and then the next chest will take a, a little bit more keys, etc, etc, etc. So you kind of have to farm it slowly, but you cannot like just permanently spam bosses every day, all day. Kind of has a cap on just how many keys you can spend because you're going to end up uh, being broke on keys. And once you kill it, you can just advance to the next area and that's kind of how the game works right now. Now, what I like about this game is that um, the progression curve is not really that easy. You cannot just like uh, stomp through a world because this is something that I feel like most Roblox games have the problem with. Like you advance very fast through the first world and you get to the last one very fast, which can be kind of boring. So it has the aspect that you kind of have to spend a little bit of time on each world, especially if you solo the bosses, it's going to take you a while until you're strong enough to do it, which is uh, kind of fun in my opinion. And you see right here, World 3 gives epic instead of uh, mm, rare spells. And that's kind of how it works. So the harder the boss, the better the rewards. And another thing I want to touch on is, you see here, Dungeon Master. So the more chests you open, it uh, gives you these Dungeon Masters uh, achievements. And it increases the spell drop chance on boss chests. So basically, once you get 50 chests opened, you will have more than 3%. I cannot tell you the exact number as I don't have this unlocked yet but uh you get the idea so that's pretty much what we have in the game right now we also have an event which i haven't caught up to yet so if any of you guys have done this event um let me know what's up with it so basically on the bottom left of the screen you get like a similar to a spirit stone pro tip and it says event and it's usually like 2000 minutes until it starts but i haven't really caught up to it so i don't know exactly what's up with it now this thing right here if you click it does nothing and it says sword mount will be coming out soon so i don't know what's up with that one either but yeah the game is pretty new but it looks pretty good and the player base is also very big which is um, promising right having 20 to 30k people on a game that is two weeks old is looking very damn good so we'll see what the developers decide to do furthermore with the game now we also have this uh, shot store right here have a whole bunch of game passes they are very similar to anime fighters very very similar 
and you can also buy key spirit stones and you can buy like boost packs which is uh, kind of cool if you're into that stuff but i think this video pretty much sums up what's up with the game and it looks pretty nice i really enjoy the game so i'm very excited to see what's coming forward from the developers and i hope you guys enjoyed it maybe you guys decide to try it yourselves but anyway as always if you enjoyed make sure to click the like and the subscribe button and i will see you guys all on the next one take care